morning, tiger. Good morning. Good morning. It is two days after the full moon, I think, of February. Did y'all feel that shit? Did y'all see that shit? Did y'all chap these lips? Anyway, it's breakfast time. Thank God I can edit now. This shit is delicious. Specifically the maple flavored pine because I tried their original and it's not like gross by any means, but it is not something I would eat on a regular basis probably. Um, I don't remember if this is something I read online or something that I learned while I was a psychology major, but um, I mean coconut oil is good for you in general because it's like a healthy fat and it's good for your skin and stuff, but I read somewhere at some point that coconut oil is good for your brain, like specifically your myelin sheaths, which I was a psychology major, so like that makes sense kind of because the fatty parts of the sheath can degrade and like you want, and anyway, if anybody knows anything about that, let me know. Because I just be eating coconut oil. I feel boring, so I'm gonna just finish cooking this and then record something else later. Okay, bye, love you. Tiger, no! I haven't introduced this yet, but this boy is actually the baby of, well, the son of the newest housemate living in my house. But, um, two roommates, we have four people living here, including Jalen and I, and two people moved out in January. Um, so, basically, I desperately tried throughout the whole course of the month of January to find a housemate, and I ended up... Uh, talking to a girl who I used to work with in spring. Her name's Tori. You guys are gonna meet her soon. We were talking last night about um, videos that we can put together on my channel because she's adorable and she's funny and she's so fucking fun and like she really is one of my best friends. Me with my borderline, I don't know if it's because of my borderline. Sorry, I'm fixing the rug while I do this. I don't know if it's just because of my borderline or because of the way I was raised and the way I interact with people or my anxiety or whatever the fuck we want to call it, but I have a lot of issues, like, even when I have really fucking good friends, I have a lot of issues with, like, trusting, not specifically trusting those friends, even though I do have issues with that because I've been fucked over, like, by people, but who hasn't, but, like, I more so have issues with trusting the authenticity of the relationship. And I learned how to come to terms with friends who, like, are good for me and are cool to hang out with. Like, you, I've said before, you should have love for everybody, regardless of whether that person has love for you or acts like they have love for you or what. Like, we are all a piece of this greater whole. We don't have to get along. We don't have to jive with all of the pieces, but we can only benefit from better understanding the other pieces, whether they're similar to... So, when I was a kid and I first decided that I wanted to grow my bangs out when I was, like, 10 years old, my dad called me cousin it i'm at work now so i have to be quiet but i wanted to further elaborate on what i meant by not trusting friendships as someone with bpd or just someone who is me oh my god this is asmr i'm whispering i have a lot of friends who i love very deeply who i know care for me as well um but who i still feel like judge me like 
everyone judges everyone. It's a human thing. It's a very human thing, but like, it's very, I don't know. That's just how it be. Let me go back to what I was talking about originally. Okay, so Tori's my best fucking friend. Tori and Tiger just moved in. She had the idea last night because we were smoking. And I was like, ooh, we should make like smoke sash videos because they'll be a lot less boring if it's me and another, <laughs> another dope ass, cute ass female talking because we out here for confidence. Um, that's her butt, by the way. Literally like that painting right there. That's a painting I made of her butt, Tori's butt, like four years ago, three or four years ago when we first started being friends and I like had the hots for her, which I still do, but like our friendship transcends that. Anyway, I hung that painting up in this house when I moved in, and a year and a half later, she's moving in. And if that doesn't prove that I'm a witch, I don't know what the fuck does. And anyway, we got these cute slippers that match and say sleepy head because we're cute. And she said that living with me was going to be like a never-ending sleepover. And I was like, dude, if we make videos together, that's what our series is going to be called. I'm so, just gonna start this recording now so we can like, it'll just flow into, we're here for it. Apple, Apple. a professional who does every Apple single day. Apple juice is good for you. Girl, I love it. An Apple a day keeps a doctor away, and I think this counts. I think it actually goes into like foundation. I should get one of those things on Amazon where it looks like a wine glass you screw to the top of a wine yes. bottle. And you're just that is like, so cute though. My doctor said I can only have one glass of wine a day. Bitch, <laughs> me! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you can it out of courtesy. Also, we're so cute. We're sleepy heads. You can't we're see. the actual cutest. They can't see this. No, go ahead. Hi. 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 I love Brad Bondo. We'll let the new bitch do the honors. Oh. Oh. The queue up for this moment. Also, we love inspirational lighters. Be the change you want to see. Let me just oh, I I zoom in that. for that. Look how cute she is. This is Tori. Hello. I'm the newest resident at somewhere. <coughs> I took too big of it. That's okay. <coughs> we love I her. still clear it. <coughs> I don't even know what to say. Would you like to introduce yourself? We met like, how many years ago did we meet? We, meet, we met at a shitty job where we both made copious amounts of money, but, and then spent all of it on weed, all of it on weed and shitty boyfriends that we don't talk about. I was so I don't very believe that. flattered. I'm, no, I don't believe that. You're the only woman to hit on me. Maybe she just dumb. I am pretty oblivious of them before <laughs> hitting on me, like, anyway, I'm a hit this again. I'm a little rising. You are, I just did the calculations on that shit. Hold on, let me hit this and then I'll do the calculations again. Because like, I started getting into Zodiac shit because of Chase and all his like cutesy shit about us. And I'm He's a Leo and I'm worse. a Sagittarius by the way. So like, apparently that's one of the most compatible Zodiac couples. And like, he was all like, oh my God, you're the first Sagittarius I ever met. It makes sense why I like, love it first sight moment. And I was like, ah, I guess I'll read into it a bit more. And it's fucking accurate. It is terrifying. I don't know the thing, like the people who think that astrology is bullshit are just people who don't understand how it's- yeah, My FBI agent knows what's going on. He knows. Mainly just because he knows your Zodiac. <laughs> don't, come on Tobe. Don't know how the Zodiac works. Like, oh, I found it. All right. We're gonna do my chart real quick and we'll talk about this. Okay. Okay, so first thing. See, I used this earlier and I don't know if I put my shit in wrong. Have you ever heard of a uh, CoStar? Yes. Okay, I've used CoStar before. CoStar is an app that like is very popular for calculating your birth chart. Uh -huh. <coughs> According to that, I'm. Gemini Sun, Capricorn Moon, Leo Rising, and I can't remember all the other shit because I don't know it that well yet, but I use this, and I don't know if I put my shit in differently or if it, like, calculated it differently, but it said I was a Virgo Rising. That's weird. I don't, I don't know, know shit is. about Virgos, but, like, do you know anything about Virgos? I really don't. I just know a lot of shit about Aries and Leos and myself as a Sagittarius. Geminis I know a little bit about, and then, like, Pisces I just don't fuck with. Like, I, to this day, I've never met. I think it's I just don't fuck with. <laughs> no, I figured out when I started doing Zodiac shit, most of the people I hate in my life are fucking Pisces. Go for it. So... 
and a Sagittarius Sun, Gemini Moon, Sagittarius and Mercury, a Libra and Mars, Sagittarius and Venus, and a Scorpio rising. But that's why I guess you were a Scorpio! Your rising sign is what you appear to the world as. Also, your That makes sense because I am like a sex vixen and like that's what's <laughs> Yes she is! That makes sense. <laughs> with like the new because didn't they like update the zodiac or whatever yeah because they added one or some shit mm -hmm. but like i never used it because it moved me to something else and i was like no nope, that's not don't even identify accurate. i was like mm -mm. i have no like, damn a small theory that that was like a government conspiracy to like detach us from truths about ourselves i honestly you know the government's always about that shit honestly but, like, if we want to get in some weird shit i think life is just a simulation I think everybody has like a little Sims goal in head, like you know, in Sims, where like he had a life aspiration. I think that's real What's life. What's your life aspiration? I don't know. Maybe you're not supposed to. Like it's, it's just one of those things where you kind of just live this life and you figure out your life aspiration. I can't wait until I first build, build, and then it's like <laughs> build, and then that's it. Like that's the end of the simulation. Like who knows what happens after that? You could go into an afterlife. You could just. I don't believe in an afterlife because I think that life is like, like I believe in reincarnation, but not in like the. You have a soul individually. Yeah. I mean, you do have a soul, but like, I don't think you get reincarnated into different bodies. I think all of your cells individually, because I mean, if you think about like scientifically the way bodies and life forms decompose, like this kind of makes the most sense mm. to me at least, but I'm not like a bio person. But like, I think our cells individually decompose and recite yeah. themselves and like each of our cells is reincarnated. Yeah. And that's like the interconnectivity of C. I go down the path of where like, for me, like with it being a simulation, I think it goes either two ways where like one way is where it's kind of like reincarnation, but you're just in a different simulation. You know what I mean? You just go to a whole different person. You do, you know what I mean? Kind of like a past lives, present lives type of shit. But the fact that like we discovered math mathematical like patterns in nature that like yeah. match up to like weird Bro, shit. That it that's why I started thinking like, that way because I watched a bunch of mathematical shit in nature and it blew my fucking mind. And I was like, that makes so much sense. I think that's how consciousness works. Like that's why I'm kind of not, I mean, I'm super afraid of death like in a Same. certain sense, but like Same. I pretend I'm not. Because I tell myself that, like, I think there's no, like, because we're reincarnated, I don't think there's any time space that we perceive between lifetimes. Like, right. your life ends, you're unconscious, and then you your next thing you know is consciousness in the next life, you know? Right. Okay. I feel that. Like a fire that I'm 99% sure doesn't exist. Burns, burns, burns. <laughs> Ring of fire. Copyright clients. <laughs> okay, well, how do you feel about the whole, like, fate unfolding versus like humans picking their own path type of thing like do you think that our lifetimes are already predetermined because i kind of believe in like dharma mm -hmm. which i guess especially that like goes hand in hand with reincarnation because i yeah. think each lifetime teaches us different lessons from different perspectives that like greater fulfills our whole like universal consciousness can like, i answer under your question with yeah. a question yes have you ever seen the black mirror movie that's interactive on that no i haven't do you want to watch it together after this you need to watch yeah we need to watch it because it's for one we need to get actually what's it called like what's it called this fucking show love death and robots on i've Netflix. heard of it i've never watched it we need to watch it because it is the most mind fucky show of all time like it is how many so times good. have i done this Take a so shot good. every time Cassie prays. So good. Hands. For one, Black Mirror is great and Love, Death, and Robots on Netflix. Both I've of those. I've seen most plus. of the Black Mirror episodes and I like them. I just haven't seen the movie. But like, so I was just like, fucking, I want to go home. But, um, <laughs> home is where the heart is. Anyway, um, <coughs> no, but Black Mirror movie. So, like, you know it's interactive. So you pick between two options at certain points of a movie and there's a different like sequence for that specific scenario and like more choices come from that that's how i kind of feel like it is because i feel like but at both the same are time there's already so many paths like like no yeah. matter what it's already like i think both exist yeah. and coexist where it's like to a point you do have free choice but at the same time this is what's gonna happen there's consequence for like i feel like those are already predetermined I don't really believe in a deity, but it's okay. I don't either. Any well, I mean, I never really did, which is why, like, I was raised not like strictly Christian. Like my parents are like, individually Christian, but like, I mean, my grandpa was a preacher, like a born again Christian preacher. I think it was United Methodist, but I had that influence in my life. But like, nobody forced me to go to church. Yeah. So when I got to like high school, I thought like, okay, I don't believe in the Christian God, so I'm an atheist. Yeah. But at the same time, like, I never wanted to be an atheist. Like, yeah. I wanted to have something to believe in, but I wasn't gonna force my mind.
trying to believe something that my like body didn't. I don't know. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. Wasn't until I like did shrooms that I realized. <laughs> we're honestly, like I've <laughs> always known like it makes the most sense to me to worship Earth, but like when you take mushrooms and have like an experience where trees like call to you. Yeah. And fucking like I, that's just how. See, I, I can't go outside. I get on shrooms. I get nervous. <laughs> Sometimes I get nervous. <laughs> so I'm a cigarette. I'm like. Before I say anyway, this is Tori. We're gonna keep talking about shit, but bye. Who's the king of the house? Is it you, Mr. Eyebothers? Who's my little dog cat? You cute motherfucker.